Hello folks and welcome back to another lesson. We've got loads to get through in this one. Two guitar parts, we've got solo, all manner of rhythmic variations. And you can thank Mr. Jason Eastie for this request. He suggested this over at Patreon. So first off for tones, for the clean part, I'm not using any pedals, neck position. Uh, these pickups are very bright and jangly, by the way. So they're um, kind of uh, Sunbear, the name of the company that, that, um, that manufacture them in the UK. And they're really lovely and bright. <laughs> Now, tones for the other guitar part, I'm using this bad boy, it's humbucker in the bridge, and I'm using the Great Eastern Effects designer driver, which sounds like this. <laughs> I'm also using a wah, I'm using the jam pedals wacko as well for the wah parts in the solo. So the rhythm guitar part starts first with a, a little solo line. It comes in on the second beat um, and the phrase is um, fairly similar. So you're going to play two, three, four, one. And then you go into that to that part okay so let's just stop there for a sec because there are a load of rhythmic parts to this so i'm going to try and teach them as quick as i can you start with a um pre-bent note on the 12th fret on the g and it's um released and then pulled off to the 10th fret with a bit of vibrato and that starts on the second beat okay so three four one yeah the second bar is then just a very quick bend, full step bend, and then the 10th fret on the next string up. The next one, same rhythm, but you play the 13th fret this time. And then you've got this run. I won't call all the notes out because you've got the tab, but it's uh, starting on the 13th fret and you've got... Okay, so there's a, a little 16th note rest in between the first two notes. And then... Again, slowly. And then you're into this part, so slowly. And then quickly. First um, bar. That's a pretty cool lick, isn't it? So you go on the 12th fret on the D string you're starting. Okay, a load of double stops then, so. Little whack. Upstroke there on the last note. Okay, pretty straightforward, so just with the double stops. Then you've got... That's pretty much staying on the 10th fret there, but you've got... So whack, whack, 10, 11. Okay, that's the first beat, and then... Okay. Next bar then. Okay, so you've got again, whack, whack, double stop, then this pull off. Okay. And then the last part is... Now, this next riff is basically a load of D. Okay, with lots of funky variations of rhythm. So it's like a 10 bar phrase, which leads into the verse. So you've got this main part, which you'll hear again in the chorus. So the first part of that is. A little whack before you go for the upstroke. And I'm just using my third and fourth finger to cover the fifth strings there. On the uh, G and B strings. 
but you're only going to hit probably the top two. But then that one does come into play yeah, on the um, G. And then slide it up. That's part of that D chord. Okay, and it doesn't really matter what you arpeggiate there really, but he plays. And then you've got. Just a similar thing, but with arpeggiation down at the D chord there, right? The next section gets a bit funkier, we've got. Okay, let's stop there. That's just the same thing twice. Then you move up to this same shape again, 5-5, five, five, with this rhythm. And here, that open E shouldn't ring out, right? So I'm covering that with a little bit of meat off my little finger. And I'm covering the D string just below it with my um, second finger here, right? So there... I'm actually hitting four strings there, but you're only hearing two, okay? So, and then you slide from the fifth fret to the seventh. And then you get this. Okay. Stars play the tab, then you're back to this one. Then you've got this funky part. Okay, four, five, four, zero, hammer on and pull off, and then two, four, two, zero. Okay, now the first riff is essentially this, right? You know, that stuff, you know, it's quite funky, um, but it is, sounds like it's random, but there is a bit of a pattern going on. So we've got, um, for the first part, you've got that type of thing going on. Um, so that is just, same chords you were playing before, but you just got much more um, palm muted wackiness. So when you're not playing these notes, you're muting, doing a lot of these 16th note stuff. I won't go through every single minutiae because, you know, I think you'll pick it up. That's cool, right? So you've got a D shape, but with your little finger on there. And you've got two up strokes, and then a whack, and then I think it's... um. Flattening your first finger on the fifth fret and hammering on to the seventh. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. I think it's that. But, you know, I may be wrong, but that's what I'm playing. And there's a stop there, right, when you play the third bar. And then you've got... And then it goes into, <laughs> into that, right? Then you've got this. You know, much more open and not so so sixteenth uh, notey. And then you've got this. You know, very funky. So you have that, right? You just go up to the tenth fret and play that for the last beat. Another one of these. you're into the chorus okay so the chorus isn't radically different from what we already played it goes okay that's all parts you know already so you've got two of those twice round and then and then you go to G right this is the only new bit here that's the 
that's cool. So you're going to go to an open G chord. I'm not actually playing the second uh, fret there. That's just muted. And then you want to do three wax. And then you've got up, up. Whack, whack, and then. And then some more wax at the end, right? So again. Okay, and then we've got. And then you've got. And then into the second verse, okay? So it tags that on at the end. So really, all the chorus is, is a repeat of that intro section, but with that extra bar of. Okay, so you know you can do what you want there. Now you go through the whole lot again, but the second time, when you come to this part, which I just played, you go to that, and then play a D. That's just before the solo, right? Pre-solo riff goes. You just play the same thing around twice. The other guitar part just go off and do a higher part there. So you've got just a series of pull offs. You just got to get that rhythm into your head. So it's pull off, pull off, pull off, pull off, pull off. Pull off. Pull off, pull off, pull off. <laughs> okay, and then you go into the solo part. I'm really going to bang through this because you'll probably just want to play the solo. And there's a rest for a bar, and then you've just got some noodly parts which are basically around here. So you've got. And then there's some variations over this part. You play this round three times, okay? So it's six bars in total. But you're going to play three, four, one. You know, then you're going to go. You know, just noodle around over that part. Then you've got this funky part which goes. Okay, you play that twice, I think it is. So you start with this minor seven shape, and then, you know, you've just got. You know, just get funky with that bit. But essentially, the first riff that he plays is. Is that, right? So down, whack, whack, whack. Okay, then that's the second half. Okay, and then the uh, next part, which plays roughly five times, veers off slightly, and you play. That stuff, right? You play that five times, then you play. Okay, <laughs> that's a little incidental bit. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then the next part you play for four bars, which is. Next part does veer off and he starts playing, starts putting his little finger on the eighth fret and doing some funky stuff and then moving, playing between the two, right? So moving up to the, you know, to the, uh, your little finger be on the tenth fret from tenth to eighth, okay? So the first one is very funky. 
Okay, then the next part goes. Okay. Then the next part goes. Okay. Now the two guitar parts sync up a little bit here, right? It's still the solo, but you've got the, this guitar part playing. That, right? So. Like that, okay? Pretty straightforward. But then it goes to this part. It does a little hammer on. Again, it's just, you know, it's just noodling around, right? You know, so I wouldn't really worry too much about nailing all of this unless you want to do a cover of it or something. So there is that part. Then we've got again with some more variations, just four times round. Then you've got this part three times, very funky. That's cool, isn't it? So you've got... Slowly, so... Okay. <laughs> and then you've got a really subtle variation the fourth time. And then uh, you go verse, chorus, and then end. And that is it. So, over to guitar two. So after a bit of funky playing from the rhythm guitar, we have this. Three, four, one. That, right? Tenth fret, double stop. Uh, that's like the G and the B. Where you slide down and then you have this. Okay, so there you're going to play five, four, zero. And you've got a very slight, you know, very slight uh, palm muted whack. Okay, and there's a little rest in between there. And then to D5. Play that twice and then you go for this part. Okay. So that is just. So five zero and then four zero with a couple of palm muted sixteenth notes. That's just three there. You slide up to the seventh fret and then same again, but then and then. The other guitar's playing. So you've got. So you get um, third fret to first fret, but with three, you know, wax in between. And then. straightforward. Then for the verse riff we've got this. You know that stuff right so um, we've got um, fifth fret fourth fret and you move that up one string right with that pattern as well and then So the 
first three bars would go. <laughs> in again right so there's that little stop that the whole band does then you play this riff twice and then you're into the chorus riff so this one twice and then this that's the same as before, but then you go. Into that, right? That's that G part. So slowly. Pretty straightforward, it's just G, G. And then. So up, up, up. The slide from the second to the um, third fret, right? So you play that twice around and then you're back into the. Round the verse and the chorus again, and then you come out of it um, instead of this. You go to that, right? So in that I'm, I'm flying part, right? Then we've got this uh, this riff. I'm gonna play. One more time slowly. Time round, you play this. And then you get into the proper solo, right? So that's just some pentatonic stuff. Pretty straightforward. And then... All right. So first part of the solo are these almost trills, really. You've got... Roughly like that, right? So you've got 10th fret, and then down to the 9th fret, 9 and 10 this time. 7th fret there, and then you've got 7, 9. There's a quick grace note slide from the 9th to the 10th there. And then 10, 12 again. got that stuff going on right so the ringing notes are ringing out there okay you're about to put the war on as well so you've got <laughs> then you chuck the war on you've got this unison bend playing <laughs> Without me mucking about with the wire, it's okay. So that's the rhythm. I think he's bending up just more than a full step there, like a step and a half. Okay. Just a, more of a fact than anything. Turn the wire off, and then you've got this. Okay. Lovely. And you've got this cool little run which goes. Roughly. 
roughly. So I think he either bends, he either bends the 13th fret a full step and then up another step. Or you can do, you can slide that bend up to the 15th fret. Then this run. So it's, it's quite quick. It's just pull-offs though. Three full step bends and one one and a half step bends. And then nice little run. Then you've got the uh, wire on, but just like as a filter really. So you just leave it in a sort of cocked position. And then you're gonna do this skibbity do kind of call and answer stuff. So you've got. Okay, so that part is. Along those lines. And from there, he plays this really lovely run. Okay. And then I would flatten my first finger on the 12th fret here. Pretty cool, just as per the tab, and then this part's tricky. You've got to speed so you're going to do a slide so you've got a a little pull off from the 13th to the 12th fret I think there and then that's um, uh, triplets but it's par meter. And then, which is. And from there, home straight, really, we're at playing. So that is it. You just go around the verse, the chorus and the ending again. Um, and I appreciate you'll have to flit about a little bit in this video because there's loads going on, um, depending on, you know, how close to the original you want to get it. But I'll put some chapters in the description below so it's easier to find what you need. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.